Howdy. I'm Greg Pilgrim. I don't know if I got this thing arranged right or not. Let's see. Oh, it's a little bit too low, isn't it? Let's just bring that up a scotch. There. Howdy. I've got a bunch of pistols here. What do they have in common? <laughs> World War II. These are some of the pistols of World War II. Uh, I'll get to these two last. Beginning of World War II, uh, France and Germany and uh, Poland and the Czech Republic and or Czechoslovakia and France and all of them were just having a scrap right and left. Well, oh, my neighbor's uh, it must be hitting noon. My neighbor's uh, he's got a, an alarm system that goes off at, at noon every day, and it sounds like a church bell. It, well, it's good because I can tell. Okay, it's noon. Anyway. Uh, so these are representatives of the various combatants and non-combatants of World War II. Uh, for instance, this is a Moss, uh, a French Moss. This was a uh, issued sidearm 32 Auto of the French Army in uh, World War II, just before the uh, uh, capitulation, which uh, was kind of sad. And, and the Surrey kept it. This one's Mark Surrey. So the Surrey, that's the uh, think FBI. Of France uh, had it. Well, the Czech Republic, just before they got overrun, made this. This is a VC 38, and it's in a 380, and it's uh, it's it's a an ugly looking, robust pistol, but it uh, represents the uh, Czech Republic uh, before their uh, uh, total incorporation into the Third Reich. Speaking of the Third Reich, well. The ubiquitous Luger. <laughs> uh, I don't have a P38, which is actually the more common pistol of uh, of the uh, the Weimar Republic. I mean, excuse me, of the, the of the Third Reich. But uh, they had a bunch of these left over from World War One, and they used them until those ran out, and they went to the P38. Other pistols of note. These are the fascist pistols. This is a model 1935 Beretta. This was uh, what Mussolini's troops used. And this is, is Mussolini vintage because it's marked with the, uh, the fascist date on the side. And the ultimate fascist pistol would be this. It's a Star 400, which is uh, in uh, nine millimeter Largo. And this one is uh, from the Spanish Civil War, about 1924. Well, this was what the Spanish were armed with throughout World War II even though they were neutral, but they were uh, Nazi-leaning neutral because they were fascist and so was Nazi Germany. Well, their main combatant at that time was Great Britain, and this is a Webley. Uh, they had other pistols as well. This is a Mark IV in uh, 38 slash 200, or uh, 38 Smith & Wesson, I think they called it at the time. Not, not 38 Colt. 38 Colt won't fit it, but I think 38 Smith & Wesson will. But I've got some uh, Webley uh, 38 200s, which are uh, the right exact ammo for this. Uh, Steinel makes it. They, they ship uh, that particular round. Uh, nice little, little round, by the way, and this is a, a good pistol, but uh, a revolver as such. The Brits back then called this a pistol. And when America finally came in after uh, December 7th, 1941, this is what we used. Colt 45. Well, uh, this is a Colt Commander. I don't have an old slab side 1911, but I got this, so it'll have to do. And this is what happens when you need a whole bunch of Colt 45s and you just don't have enough being made. This is Smith & Wesson uh, model 1917 and 45 ACP. It loads with uh, stripper clips and uh, this one is kind of finicky, but you have to put, uh, not scripper clips, excuse me, uh, half, they used half moon clips. Three rounds in a clip, put them in, three more, put them in, and then when you eject, it ejects all of the um, uh, rimless 45 ACP cartridges all at once. Because in a revolver like this, you need a rim to catch the extractor. Uh, Colt made one, and Smith & Wesson made one. The difference is, is the Smith opens on the left side like this, 
the Colt opens on the right side. Uh, this one uh, advances counterclockwise or clockwise, and the Colt advances counterclockwise. But other than that, they hold exactly the same round. They can use the same stripper clips, excuse me, half moon clips. These days they make full moon clips, and they're kind of cool. I have a whole bunch of full moon clips in 45 ACP. Anyway, pistols of World War II, various pistols. I don't have all of them, of course. Uh, and some of them, well, such as the uh, Czech uh, VZ-38, uh, <coughs> became a captured war booty of the Nazis and was shipped off to the Eastern Front. And <coughs> others, such as the, uh, I, didn't, I didn't put it out here, <coughs> but the FN 1922 from Fabrique Nationale in Belgium, when they fell, was shipped off to uh, the the, the, the uh, Luftwaffe to use. They had others such as the uh, the Lati from uh, what is uh, uh, Scandinavia, Denmark, and uh, and Norway, <clears throat> and that was used as well. Uh, the Browning High Power because they had taken over the FN plant and they had that, <laughs> and many 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 uh, pistols were used throughout that war, but these were some of the most most common. Uh, combat pistols used at that time. Just discussing things, you know. I, I know a little bit, a little bit about each one and about the um, uh, adventures that they had in the war. Some of these are actual war surplus from that period, and uh, who knows who, who uh, you know, blood may be on the hands of a few of these, or at least on the bullets. <laughs> oh well, that's about all I know. Cut.